Let's go. Oh, weed layers. Oh, I forgot that they just get angry. You can't really take them out probably without a Yoshi. Or maybe a, maybe a shell. Alright. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh, there we go. That's That'll work, too. Thanks, thanks, man. You, you, you're doing pretty good. Really? Even the fireballs don't work against them? Those Wigglers are tough cookies, what can I say? But I think, is this the debut of Wigglers? Might be. That was pretty horrifying what you just did to that Goomba, Yoshi. Not gonna lie. Oh. We gotta get across this pit, don't we? Oh, fine! How do we get up there? Oh! I like the looks of that. I wanna get that. Oh, but it's already gone. That's sad. I'm sad now. How do you suppose we could have gotten it, though? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how we could have gotten it. We glare. Man, it's way easier to control Yoshi than Luigi. What are we gonna get, you think? The boringest thing... Oh, nah, we got a pretty good one. We got a pretty good one after all. Hey. No! No! Come on! There we go! What the... What just happened to that Wiggler? Its body came apart. That is really horrible. It's just horrible. Oh, look down there. Oh, I see. If they get hit with a shell, that is all it takes. And look at that thing down there, though. That's where our secret exit is. Frankly, though, it's not really that secret at all, is it? I mean, we, it's clearly right there. The, ma the main issue is getting to it. How would you get to that if- Oh! Oh! No! Get Luigi! Luigi. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We gotta get this real- Right- Oh! oh. Oh, we can control the direction that we're floating! I quit for no reason then, didn't I? Oh! No reason then, didn't I? Is it just me? Or is the music playing somewhat slower now? I don't think it was just me, I'm pretty sure it was. Now this is what I'm here for. Oh. A ghost house in the forest of illusion. Mario. Now that's asking for trouble. Let's go. Or we are if we go into it. My policy on haunted houses. Here's my policy. My policy on spooky haunted houses you find in the middle of the forest. Don't go into them. That's my policy if you really must know. I like how the big boos have a bit of momentum. How do we get to that door, though? Well, I guess we're gonna find that out later, aren't we? Okay. These are a very narrow ghost house. I'm skeptical that this was ever a house if this is how it's laid out, honestly. But I suppose it is a house for the ghosts, isn't it? I mean, that's why it's called Ghost House. No! I, for a second, I thought I was about to get hit by that little dinosaur ghost. Fortunately, though, I was not. All right, Mario. Now what? Oh. Yeah, man, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, it just gets better and better. Wait, can I hurt ghosts? What? I hate you. I was gonna wonder. I was gonna theorize whether I could hurt the hurt the booze using something like what I just had there, like a cape. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Oh, now we're going to get to that door that we saw up here. Let's go get to that door, shall we? Yes, we shall. 
Yeah, fireballs aren't effective against the boobs. Okay. We're gonna get out. We're gonna get out. We're gonna get out. You know, going into spooky abandoned houses in the middle of haunted forests is generally, you know, advice I wouldn't do. I wouldn't follow. But worked out all right in this case. Worked out all right. I'm fairly convinced this is just luck. Honestly. It's still possible I'll get something if I get a star. But I didn't. But I didn't. There, there, Mario. We all lose when we gamble. You know, sometimes. Normally, that's how gambling works. It's easy to lose. Let's go. What's this? Oh! Why, thank you, Lakitu. I appreciate it. Now you're doing this to me, Lakitu! <sighs> First you love me, now you do this to me. It's a... It's a classic case, it's a classic case, it's a classic abuser. His hideous, nasty little buck teeth, that little freak. I'm not gonna fall for it this time, Lakitu. You, you... Oh, it hurts me just to touch it. I thought the thing about Lakitus. They go off for your love, then they... Then they take, then they, then they turn around and decide they're gonna try and kill you. That's the thing about Lakitus. I swear. You know? Maybe I'm being too hard on them. They're just doing their jobs, you know? Oh. Oh! I wanna make sure we land on, on solid ground. Oh, is it? What the? What are you doing, Lakitu? You're not supposed to be in a pipe, you silly guy! Hey, hey. Oh, hi. Oh, you have to take it out with a shell or something or their cloud is destroyed. Keep that in mind. Hey, hey, hey. Quit it. Quit! Alright, we're gonna find ourselves the secret exit this time. I know I've seen somewhere Mario riding a Lakitu cloud to a secret exit in Super Mario World. I'm guessing it's gonna be around here somewhere. I don't remember if it was in the Forest of Illusion, though. But the Forest of Illusion is the secret level world. The big idea of the Forest of Illusion is that um, if you go through the levels just going through them to the normal exit, you're gonna get stuck in the Forest of Illusion. Because the real way to get out of it involves, uh, well, finding all the hidden exits. Or some of them. You don't, I'm sure you don't need to find all of them. A uh, spiny's really stuck down there. It's kind of painful to look at. Let's go. We can do this. We can do this. Some of these challenges, honestly, I don't think I could have done. But this one, this one is doable. I could pull this one off. What is this gonna... What do you think that's gonna do? Come on! In what way was that now Mario landing on top of the Lakitu, huh? Well, I guess it wasn't. I always thought it's really weird in these kinds of video games. We're just like tapping the enemy's cheek or something. Causes you to, you know, to lose. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would that... Like, why would that hurt you? Oh, I see. Lots of coins. Oh, I'll take some coins, sure. Heck yeah. I like coins. <sighs> really? I love seeing that Lakitu with its stupid buck tooth. You know, buck tooth being like, I know! You landed on me! I'm sorry, am I too mean? Am I doing mean? Okay. Come on. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, though. Okay, here we're gonna take the Koopa. We're gonna take the shell away from the Koopa. And the Koopa is very gonna be irritated with us now, but that's fine. And next, we're gonna use this Koopa shell right on the Lakitu. Next Lakitu who swings by here being like, I'm gonna kill Mario. <laughs> Instead, it won't happen. Really? Really? You... There we go. Come on. Lakitu Cloud. I know there's something up here. We can go up so high, there must be something. Must be. 
Come on, you put that blue shell there. I'm pretty sure that somehow or other Yoshi can fly using the blue shells. No. No. Oh. What the? Weird. No, no, Mario, Mario! Water level. Oh, but it's Forest of Illusion too. Interesting. Oh, I get it. That's Forest of Illusion two. That was four. And three is gonna be. Wait, what the? I guess three is what we're gonna find when those trees that are in the upper right part of this loop clear out. Let's go. My best guess. Why is it that even when you're climbing a fence, falling on top of the enemies works, but not when you're underwater? In any case, here we have some urchins. I know that thing in the middle looks like a nose, but it is in fact one of their uh, spikes. It's just that for the purposes of perspective, we only see the tip of it, so it kind of looks like a nose. Now, real sea urchins don't have big eyes like that. If they did, they'd be kind of horrifying instead of just, you know, sea urchins. You ever eaten sea urchin? I have. I know that a lot of Japanese people really like sea urchin, but I have, don't think I ever want to eat it again. It's, it wasn't, didn't taste bad, per se. It tasted like one of those things that, you know, that's like, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that's, you know, fit for human consumption. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like some chemical that a human should not be eating. On top of that, it had a really liquidy, slimy texture that is just un unappealing. Of course, some people really love sea urchin. If you do, it's fine. Go eat, go eat some sea urchin then. I, I don't care. We well, figured out what to do with these glowing blocks. They're, in, they're weapons. They're, they're, we they're weapons. Okay. Yeah. So far, so good. We just need to find the secret exit. It couldn't be... I understand a lot of places in this level where there could be a secret exit since the whole thing's like a maze. A maze is full of dangerous, dangerous... What the... Um... Let the mushroom fall down? Mu mushroom? Please, fall down. Please! <sighs> really? Really? Okay. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go up here. Now we're gonna get on top of that, uh, um, one-up area. I know it's too late to get the green mushroom, but you know, I, I still wouldn't mind getting it. I'm, I'm gonna try, okay? I believe in, I, I believe in trying, and Mario does too. Mario tries so much, and it's gotten him pretty far in life. I, I'm, I'm happy for him. Okay, a little bit jealous, but, only, only, but not that jealous. I get it. When you hold X, when you're holding an item and you hold X to hold it down, you seem to float up. Non-stop. For some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's some quirk of the controls, or maybe it's just I'm, I'm controlling it incorrectly. Something I always thought was kind of weird about Mario is how happy the music was, even when you were, like, doing stuff that's really difficult. It's like they're making fun of you. It's like, they're con it's like a conscious decision to, you know, to try and point out how silly it is that you're having a hard time. I know that's not the point. I know the point is that Mario's supposed to just be fun and jazzy. But at the same time, I don't know, man. But you have to not be moving to look down. Good to know. Hmm. Oh, one of those sleeping ones. I'm not a big fan of the sleeping ones. Okay, I'm gonna be quite truthful about that. Yeah, we can't swim over these barriers. Man, you know, Mario sure can't hold his breath for a long time. I remember thinking about how fun weird that was one of the first times I... The you know, first time I really played a Mario game and was able to observe it. Oh, come on. That's not an ah, oh, come on. It's something I could have seen coming. Wow, Charging Chucks can hold their breath too, huh? Not bad, not bad. Not bad, Charging Chuck. Not bad! Ugh. So close. 
I do like the designs in the background, though. The waving seaweed, the blocky shapes of the, of the rock formations. We're gonna make it this time. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. What I tell you, we made it. What we didn't do, though, was find a hidden exit. No! Oh. Here we are. Just on our way out of the Forest of Illusion, I suppose. This looks like a good route. I thought we were going to loop back. I'm glad it didn't. Let's go. Weird how the, there are... What? Oh, Bob-omb. Bye, bob -omb. bob -omb's are another weird case. Are they intelligent? Or, like, are they, like... I don't know, like, suicide bombers, or are they just, I, I don't know, like, weapons? That's the, that's the real question. That's a weird explosion animation. I mean, whatever, though, if they want to have a weird explosion animation, they have every right to. Hey. Er. Hey, can Yoshi eat bob bombs? Yeah, he can. And they don't detonate inside him somehow. Or maybe they do down the line. Maybe it's best not to think about these sorts of things. Uh, oh. There we go. Oh! Why, thank you, Mr. Block. With eyes on it. They close their eyes after you get enough coins out of them, like you, know, like you cause them pain. It makes me feel a little, a little guilty. Now we gotta get up here to this one. Oh, I see what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. Thus, thus, pick it up. Thus, we're gonna hop onto Yoshi. And jump up here. Next, we're gonna. Um, Try and go down the warp pipes and not succeed. Now we'll run our way. Just after all, just as soon as all of our enemies have have, have dumped, dived into pits for some reason, for some inscrutable reason. Oh, no, no, uh, oh, uh, here we go. Ah, uh, no, nothing up there. No. Yeah. Things really start going downhill when you don't have Yoshi around. That's all I can say. Real quickly. These weird little Goombas with their weird teeth and stuff. I the only one ever thought these Goombas, at least some of the artwork of them, makes it look like, you know, like they're like blackface heads. It's really, I'm really shocked. No, I've never heard, seen anyone point that out before. I mean, what? What? Didn't I just land on top of it? I mean, like, I'm not saying that because I want to be shocking, I'm saying it because, I mean, I think that that's actually, like, what they're supposed to look like. Not because, you know, people made the game a racist, because the Japanese have a tendency, you know, to, like, borrow things, you know, emblems from American culture, often without really, um, understanding the significance of a lot of them. Uh, now I can't go down there. Is there something up here? Oh yeah! It's been a while since I've seen something this friendly, this, this inviting, instead of, you know, trying to destroy me. Totally. Man, that's one tough explosion, even hurts the Goombas. That's the issue with these Goombas, is you can't take them out just by, you know, just by jumping on them. They do all kinds of crazy footwork. I mean, now that I'm complaining, you know, it's, it's fine. You gotta get them, you gotta throw them around, you gotta do that kind of stuff with them. What the heck? Cheap cheap? You know, first I thought the go the, these uh, Koopa Troop had you know, stumbled upon an interesting new kind of technology uh, with which to, uh, uh, you know, transport troops with these, the, the, these bubbles. But now, now I'm beginning to wonder if they're just, if there's just some bubble machine somewhere it's just gone haywire. It's carrying random things around. Hey, hey, charge and chuck. Oh, okay. Um, char Charge and Chuck. Wait a minute. Charge and Chucks have the same eyes as the blocks. Hey, Charge and Chuck. 
Charging truck, buddy. Friend. You're not my friend. Get out of here. And it did. I'm glad. Oh, that's a really obviously hidden exit. That doesn't even count as hidden. That counts as something totally distinct from a hidden exit, actually. Oh. Unfortunately, though, I don't think we can get back over there. Even if there were some kind of helpful item in these uh, pipes. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to. Well, dang. Eh, got some coins. Even if I didn't get any star points. Well, what matters anyway? Just gambling. Yeah, we have to go through that secret exit. Fortunately, it's the most obviously hidden secret exit in the whole game. Because once again, it's not even hidden. It's not hidden. Huh? Oh, it's one of these. This goes to show you should check every pipe, even when it seems pointless. Every pipe. All right, what are we going to get this time? Going to be the same pattern? It's the same pattern so often, it almost doesn't even feel like it could rightly be called, you know, luck-based. And Mario's keeping pretty high spirits for a guy who's crossing the Forest of Illusion. Yeah, this isn't so bad. Even when you're in the Forest of Illusion, as long as you have friends, things will turn out okay in the end. Things will turn out okay. Yoshi's getting a lot of food, eating fellow people alive. This is pretty horrifying. What you're seeing here unfolding is some pretty... is, is a pretty grim picture of a... of something. Now don't worry about it. We're about to get to the secret exit. No big deal. I mean, it is a big deal to get to the secret exit, but... Hey, hey, no, no, Yoshi! Okay, forget it. Yeah, we don't need Yoshi. We just need to get down this pipe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make it. We only have a, we only have a minute left. That's more than enough time to open this door. Or the magical floating keyhole, rather. It's kind of strange. I would have expected that Ludwig von Koopa was more Forest of Illusion style than Roy. Whatever. Let's go. Those strange domes you can see in the background are one of the... one of the continent's most distinctive geologic features. Oh, I see. This must be Roy's, uh... Elevator? Once again, wasn't Ludwig von Koopa the one who builds crazy devices like this? Why has Roy got something like this? Is it... Like, what? why he put this in here? Is this some kind of exercise machine? Is it Bowser's sadistic way of training him to fight Mario? Mario? Just kidding, he's not Mario, he's Mario. I don't even... I don't know. Okay, this looks better. It looks like more... The kind of thing I want to deal with is this. Not what we were dealing with before. Not now with lava. Whoa! Oh, fallen spikes. Let's not let that one there fall on us. I didn't, but I missed the dragon coin. Good riddance to that thing. Okay. No, those are the falling kind of spikes. What is it? That's strange. A little. Oh well. No. It's weird, why did they only begin moving after... Why did they only begin moving after they had fallen? It's weird. Oh, hey, Roy. Like your sunglasses. Cool shades. What? Roy! Roy. Friend. I can't help but notice that the wall... That the walls are... Are beginning to come in a bit. Once again, it's more Ludwig von Koopa style. He's like the crazy supervillain of the family. I mean, other than Bowser himself.
Mario and Luigi have found their way through the Forest of Illusion and have put an end to Roy Koopa in Castle Number 5. Onward to the deliciously dangerous Chocolate Island! And I remember when I got this far when I was a kid, I was like, man, I'm getting near to the end now. We're getting into the end game. Let's go. This is Chocolate Island, huh? Oh! Oh, that's what the little fire-breathing dinosaurs we saw earlier were. Let's go. I still think it's really bizarre that this game has a dinosaur theme, you know? Man, they're very cute when they're not breathing fire. Now see, these things are dragons. Forget about Yoshi, these are dragons. These are real dragons. Okay, you know what? Let's leave Chocolate Land for a second. I really want to go get some of these more se some more of the secret entrances. Some more of the secret exits, I mean. Forest of Illusion 4, for example, it would seem to me definitely, definitely leads to that palace we saw outside the Forest of Illusion that was not Roy's. Where are we gonna- so, let's go- this is a pretty nice, pretty peace, peaceable level. Oh, I see what we have to. We would go through the level with Yoshi. We have to go through the level with Yoshi and get that blue shell at the end. Isn't is that right? Bet you it is. Let's go. Or we could just steal Lakitu's cloud. That also work. We need to do it near the end of the level though, not sooner. He got us. He got us. Oh well, this will uh. The shell provides us protection from one enemy, one time. Alright, hey, hey, hey. Coop! Hey, you, you, you stick it, Kiki! There we go. The little Kidus are certainly Koopas. But I don't think Buzzy Beetles are. I'm pretty sure Buzzy Beetles are not Koopas. They might work for the Koopas, but they're not Koopas proper. Hey, can we go through here? Nah, there's nothing getting there, okay. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump up there. No, we're gonna. That's where, that's where we're gonna jump up there. Okay, we made it. We made it. Just need to jump on that guy, on that feller, and we're gonna uh, get these. Sure enough. Maybe I'm all wrong. I have to go up. Maybe it's like the hidden exit is in that pipe there. Could be. You never know what you're gonna get in this one. Never know. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna... Oh, we, we did land on top of it. Good. Oh, we didn't land on top of it that time. But that's just because we're not trying quite energetically enough. Sure enough. Sure enough. The forest secret area. Well, I would expect nothing less from the Forest of Illusion. Let's go. Whoa. Ah. Uh, um. Getting some vertigo. Hey, what about this one? This is pretty crazy. I'm trying to imagine. This is the kind of level where getting all the dragon coins would become like a nightmare. You gotta do that, Koopas. Like, what are these platforms? And who put them here? And why? Were they built by the Precursors? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Precursors love building this kind of stuff. The f uh, for the purposes of Mario lore, though, I mean, they did. there was some kind of, like, legendary ancient civilization in uh, Super Paper Mario, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. I just don't remember what, they, what they're called. You know, the tribe... The, the, the tribe of the ancients, I think, is who they were. They must be the ones who build all these coins and all these blocks and stuff. Man, I'm not sure I changed the way I see things. Let's not trigger it, though. Let's see. Oh. We have to trigger it. And I was thinking maybe there would be a secret on the other side of that goalpost. In fact, I'm still fairly convinced there would be. Oh. Or not. Well, I mean, there is a secret exit somewhere there, but... Actually, wait, no, there's not. There was no secret exit in that level. The Forest Fortress. Wonder who this belongs to. Let's go. Oh, 
Ah, oh, that was one insidious dragon coin. I like the shading on the on the big block. Oh, saw blades. And whatever this forest fo fortress belongs to is pretty hardcore. They just decorate the place that they have to conduct all their business in with 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 spinning saw blades. I mean, these are razor blades. Just just spinning around. Perfectly ready to slice anyone who touches them to ribbons. That strikes me as a very impractical thing to have in your house. That was really close. That was as close as you can get. Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty well so far. It's ominous, though, how this whole place is empty. There's no one here. That's pretty scary. I mean, I see why there's no one here. Look at these things. Of course there's no one here, and this is what your... What the whole... What the floor plan of the place is. Worked out! Hey. We got lava, we got... Saw blades. I mean, it just... It just really seems extraordinary to me that anyone... Would think it was a good idea to live in some place like this. Like, like, even from from a military perspective, I mean, I understand why you want to have a for, foreboding base. Like, like why you want to intimidate your enemy. This isn't intimidating your enemy, this is keeping you, causing you to, like, to, like, just go and walking around your fortress as a matter, as a life and death situation. That's pretty, pretty intense. Pretty intense. I should come back here with Yoshi or something. He would know what to do. Those smile face blocks. A bit out of place, in my, in my estimation. Just a, just a bit. Okay. That smile face block there. It's really in keeping with the overall uh, vibe of this place. Uh, There's a smile face lets you know that, they, that ultimately they do want you to visit. I'm gonna come back here with some uh, more items. Back all the way across the entire continent to the forest fortress. By the time we get back, it'll probably have been another week. And I mean, at this point, I hate to imagine what Bowser's been doing to old Princess Peach. I mean, this is probably after it was no longer part of his evil scheme to kidnap her. Uh, but a little bit before, it was uh, because he, you know, was in love with her. This is probably more a revenge thing. He's doing it just to spite them. I mean, at this point, he surely should have just killed her, I mean, if he really wants to take over the kingdom. That'd be quite a twist ending for a Mario game, wouldn't it? That'd be a good way to end the series. With tragedy. Everything ends with tragedy, after all. Hey. Nice try. This entire place is automated, though. It makes me wonder if we're going to discover that, you know, there's no one here or something. Like, we'll get to a boss room and it'll be empty. Haunting, isn't it? The art style of the fortresses particularly reminds me of, uh, of Yoshi's Island. That is to say, the game, not the location. Wasn't written a feather? Oh yeah, a feather did come out, I thought so. We can keep going behind the door? But why? Was there something back here? Yeah, there's a dragon coin. Probably also some on the other side of that pit if we wanted to fly over it. Does even the secret level here have a secret exit? Oh, do you guys? Hey guys. Trent Reznor or Mario I've, World Reznor? I was. I think it's Mario World Reznor. Who's Mario World Reznor? Those rotating rhinos and all the fortresses. Oh God. Dinosaurs. Makes sense, you know, we're, we're in dinosaur land after all. Well, this is how you take them out. I remember that the one time when I was a kid and I played this and I actually found, like, a secret area, the uh, boss ended up being these guys. I wasn't sure if, like, it was an, you know, if every time it would be them or what. 
But now what though? If we could link together the whole Star Road, we would be able to get around Dinosaur Land in seconds. I bet the Star Road is related to the Star World spoken of in a lot of the Mario RPGs. What the... Oh, gross-looking red baby Yoshi. What the heck? Oh, it eats Koopa shells. If it ate Koopas, I'd be pretty terrified. But it doesn't. Um... This is really weird. Like, right now I feel like I'm in some deep secret stuff. So I know that we've been getting these eggs back that, um, have Yoshi's friends in them. Oh god, it does eat Koopas. That is horrifying. Like, that is really messed up. Yippee! Thank you for rescuing me. I am a red Yoshi. I can breathe fire no matter what color shell I eat. Oh. Sure. Nice. Neat. Neato, daddy -o. I should have been a little more careful there. There we go now. Now we're going to get them. We're going to get all of them. It's pretty brutal, really. You know, in the uh, soup, in the Paper Mario games, and in uh, at least one of the Mario Luigi games, they talk about you know star spirits and that kind of thing. I have a feeling that um, that that this is somewhere in that whole realm of the star spirits. Although, as you can see, Bowser is now occupying this place too. You know, even this level has an alternate exit, doesn't it? Unfortunately, we wa lost the red Yoshi. That would probably be the key to getting to that exit, didn't we? Probably. Um... Mario just killed three more Koopas. Three whole lives have been ended. That's just really... It's really tragic when you get down to it. Um... Hey... Why'd, why'd you gotta do that? You little shellless Koopa. Why'd you gotta do something like that? What was up there? There's something on top of that, uh... Pipe. I'll go see! Oh, just a dragon coin. Boring. I was hoping for some super secrets. Perhaps another secret exit. After you've been through this many secret exits, it does become almost, uh, sort of addicting. Like, you want to, like, man, I'm gonna go find some more secret exits. That's almost what's keeping me going, is the thought of all those cool secret exits I might find. No. Oh. This one only has, uh, one. Fortunately, this one is back to the try platform center. There was no checkpoint, was there? No. No, there wasn't. I wanna try. I'll try again. Hey, Koopa. It just swallows and just straight up whole. That is terrifying. Look how small it is, too. How could it even... I mean, how can it even get the whole Koopa down? It's so tiny, it's bigger than its body. That's terrifying. Truly, truly chilling. There we go. Well, it's not gonna be chilling for long. It's about to get very hot in here. Sure enough, it did. If I'm careful about this, I'll be fine. I'll be fine if I'm just careful. If I'm just... Oh, no, 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 no. Careful! I was careful. After a, after a fashion. See? I waited till I could see the platform. I'm trying to jump on. I jumped right on top of that platform, no problem. Well, Red Yoshi, nice to meet you. See, it's kind of weird. They're already talking about Yoshi as if it's the name of the species rather than an individual. And it's just kind of weird. Like, why don't they just call them, like, the Dinosaur Landers or something? And then Yoshi is, like, Yoshi Dinosaur Lander. Make more sense than 
whatever weird stuff's going on here now. Hey guys. Bye. I, I, I don't miss you, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Um, jump. We made it. See, before we screwed up, but this time, this time no screw ups. Um, I didn't quite hit the tape, but I'm, I'm fine with that. It wasn't the most spectacular finale, but it was an appropriate one all the same. Yeah, I have to find the alternate exit. No thanks. Let's just get out of here with our Red Yoshi friend. But what are we gonna do with the Red Yoshi? What's re a Red Yoshi good for? I mean, we're just gonna lose him pretty quickly all the same. Uh, well? I mean, a Red y Yoshi's good as an individual, but I mean from a perspective of using him as a living weapon like we are now. Well, uh, I don't know. I guess we're gonna do something with him, aren't we? Can you eat her at him? Nah, he's a bit tall for you. Oh, but you can take him out with this one blow. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie, Yoshi, that's pretty good. I like you, kid. No! There we go. Huh? Oh, I, was, I was expecting a bonsai bill to pop out of nowhere. I mean, it's happened before, and it'll happen again. Now, I see, now, we're finally in dinosaur land proper. And, and I, I'm beginning to see all the dinosaurs now. No! Okay. Now, I can't go down the pipe. Well, I suppose this is all in dinosaur land proper. It just now, it feels like it. Oh. Oh. It's gotta be the trickiest checkpoint I've seen so far. I know I didn't actually, uh... Hit it, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I'll leave that a charge and chuck to be devoured by those little plants. I'm not quite sure what kind of plants those were. Uh, the piranha plants are a cousin of the piranha plants, though. Well, I missed the, missed the item. Oh well. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh. Just gonna charge right down to the pit, you little dinosaur? Is that what you're gonna do? My answer is obviously. What the heck? What in the world? They're like, oh, they're platforms, I see. Okay, fine. We're, we're gonna ride some dolphin platforms. Is that, what, is that what this is? Of course it is. Of course it's what it is. 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 Go! 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 Red Yoshi was good while it lasted. Good while it lasted. But, no, but all things come to an end. These dinosaurs run fast and are very... and are very much charging straight for Mario. Like, it's not like a... you know, like, they're just animals anymore. This, like, they, these... Or maybe they are, but they're trying. They're trying to get Mario. And Chocolate Island really is perilous. Deliciously dangerous. Let's go, let's go, you know, you know, maybe now's a good time to go back and try and find these mysterious green switch palace that I've heard these, these you know, rumors about, or even perhaps the red switch palace. I'm sure they must exist somewhere. Maybe that's it in the water up there, an underwater palace. It could be. But I don't think so. I think I have actually gotten to that palace before. Um, you know, my past playing in this game. They're probably on top of this mountain or something. Uh, but not really, where would it be? I don't even see any- Oh, that- Those warp pipes. Those warp pipes, I bet you, would lead to them. Must be. Must be an alternate exit from the Stonut Secret Ghost House. Right? Right, I know, well, there's certainly some alternative exit from this place. Like, we know there's a way to the Star Road from around here. There must be. 
because otherwise they wouldn't have had that message telling us that there was a way to the Star Road here, you know? They would not have had that message. As it stands, though, we have had that message. You know what that means? It means there's a way to Star Road from here. Okay. Let's go through this door. Oh, it's just the normal exit. I'm not looking for the Star Road, though. I'm looking for Switch Palaces. They strike me as way more helpful. Oh, well, I'll find something. What? Oh, I meant to say... Darn it! What? <gasps> Something tells me that that's Bowser's castle right there. So Bowser's castle is hidden underground. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Taurus tips. Oh, it's one of those. Remote controlled coins, huh? Oh. Well, never mind. I'm not going to get the remote control coins. So Samora, well, you know, I got to say, slippery, slippy slidey as it is, this is definitely a very beautiful, very beautiful ice cavern. I mean, ice is very, you know, is, I think is very pretty. It certainly can be any. Oh, no. Well, we didn't get the star block, but we got some good stuff all the same. All right. I mean, not the star block. We did get the star. I, what, what I mean is we didn't get the... The dragon coin. Oh. Okay. Um. Prana plant jumps out. It slowly lowers down. It's very odd that they're so shy they don't want to come back out, you know, come out of the pipes while you're on top of them. Who do you think was the first poor guy who discovered that? I mean, it must have been really nerve wracking. He must have thought, oh no, I'm doomed. But he noticed he didn't come out. Oh, sure. Um, not sure what's going on here with this. I mean, I don't think there was an alternate exit to this area. Pretty sure it's just one exit for this level. Of course, I might be wrong. Huh? There we go. Oh, it didn't even bounce back and hit me. I'm grateful for that. Hey, guys. Guys, really? Man, that was pretty violent. And I didn't... I keep not hitting the tape! That was really violent, what happened to those paratroopers. It's funny, the way Mario runs so hard on that level, but... Uh, we're not going to be able to get to Bowser from up here. But I do see a portal to the Star Road. That means we could get directly to Bowser's castle just through the Star Road. Wouldn't that be a twist? I see. This area is here to just let you know that Bowser's Castle is a clear place, so clearly marked it even has a neon sign. But it's just hidden deep underground, deep beneath dinosaur land. Oh. Huh. Yoshi. Come back. Yo, no, Yoshi. Yoshi. Yo, there you are, Yoshi. Okay, Yoshi. I just need to get up here. Get up there. Yo, yo, Yoshi, get up. Yeah, yeah, go. 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 No. No! No! Okay. First of all, you're going straight to hell, you filthy. Okay, now, okay, here's what we're going to do. Might be possible to get enough of a running jump going, we can run! What the? There's nothing up there! But how? How is there nothing up there? What's the point of this room if there's nothing up here? There can't be nothing up here. There's a trick here. There's, there's, there's something funny going on here. That's all I can say. Ugh. What's what's going on here? What am I missing? Is there some kind of hidden block here? Some? Oh, we didn't need Yoshi at all. All right. 
All righty then. It was just in here all along, just waiting to be opened. Oh, there's a green switch palace. Uh, Koopas have already taken over this switch palace, I see. That's sort of sad. Oh, it's always sort of sad to see the Koopas have taken over another place. What the? Man, this is definitely a lot more dangerous than that other switch palace. Whoa, wait, what? Where's the switch? Oh, it must be through that pipe up there, I see. And once again, Mario single-handedly takes out a whole platoon of Koopas. I bet you that's the switch. How much you want to bet that's the switch? That's what I call a victory. I feel very accomplished now. Oh, we found one of the Switch Palaces. So, Donut Plains 1, its secret exit leads to a whole slew of mysterious things. But where's the other Switch Palace, the Red Switch Palace? Come to think of it, why do the levels have different sizes? I know the red ones are the ones with multiple exits, but like, why are some of the levels have big icons and other small icons? Does it have to do with their length or something? Let's -go. Well, I don't know, let's look for the secret exit in this one, shall we? I just feel like it's a good thing to do. I feel like finding these secret exits in the long run are going to be very helpful to us. Now, especially now I know that there's a way to get to Bowser's castle just from the Star Road. If I were a secret entrance, where would I like to hang out on the weekends? I don't know, I guess I could... It might, you know, there's some good restaurants around, I could probably go one of those, go to that, uh... You know, there's, there's a new ramen place opened around here not too long ago, I mean, it's not very good. I suppose I could go look for another exit to the Cheese Bridge area. Why not? I mean, it says there are multiple exits. And I don't think they'd lie. I, I don't really think that it could lie. I don't think it has the option to, unless the, the, the game designers decided to just trick us, which would be pretty interesting. I mean, you don't get many video games where the game design itself is like tricking you. I mean, there are some, you know, where like the in-game intelligence is, 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 you know, lying to you. You know, like uh, in the original Metal Gear. It's pretty unimpar it was pretty unparalleled at that time for to have something happen, like the game's, you know, the guide the game has given you is, is, is lying to you. And if you didn't know that, I'm sorry, I just spoiled the original Metal Gear for you. It came out a long time ago, but it's a pretty good one. And I understand that, you know, even if just because it came out a long time ago doesn't mean that, like, you would have played it. And, and, and I shouldn't, and I'm sorry, I should have been more careful. I should have been more considerate not to spoil it for you. I, I'm sorry, I was, I, I just spoke without thinking, and now, now you've been hurt because of it. And I'm really, and I, I'm really, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to, I'm not here to hurt anyone. That's definitely the last thing I want to do. Oh. We're getting all kinds of saws. Oh, hey. Now, we have, we have two ways you can go. I'm going to go the high up. I want to take the high road here. The high road. The high road, I said. The high road. Oh, we have to have Yoshi. It doesn't work without Yoshi? Really? It's kind of weird. Why not? Anyway, maybe there's a hidden exit down here. Could be. It's possible. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's that's playing dirty. These, I tell you, these off-screen bill blasters are the most dangerous of them, by far. What the? Oh, oh. Um. What? Getting the item makes him fall off the rope? What's it mean? It's, it's mean! Now, unlike in the Vanilla Dome, these, uh, the sky here really is the stars. Of course, in the Mushroom World, the stars seem to be, like, 
Well, at least there are, not the stars themselves are presumably just stars. However, there are uh, star spirits and other living kinds of star-like uh, creatures. So there's like a species of stars too. Oh, how far can we go down here? Oh, pretty far apparently. So did Mario just hatch a Yoshi and it reached adulthood this quickly? Yoshis are just so weird. Males lay eggs. It's, they, they're not really eggs, but they look like eggs, and they're called Yoshi eggs. Even though it seems like they just must be like their poop. But it's also weaponized, which adds another layer of weird to the whole proceedings. This, if this isn't the way to a secret, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Okay, we can eat the fuzzies. Okay, good. No! Chocolate Island, let's go! Curse you, Mario, jumping so high with your darn athletic build.